much for joining us this evening at our senior scholarship event. Tonight is a very special night. Tonight we honor the accomplishments of the seniors of the class of 2020. These seniors have excelled in the classroom, on the stage, and on the field. Seniors, tonight is about you. Growing up, adults tell you it isn't appropriate to brag about yourself, but tonight it's going to be okay. Brag all you want about your accomplishments. This is your night and we want you to enjoy it. But don't forget that you didn't get here without a support system. Along with the bragging comes your responsibility to thank that support system. Your parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, teachers, and friends. Without them, you certainly would not be here tonight. I also get to brag because I am very lucky to be the one to serve as your principal. I will truly miss each and every one of you. Congratulations. The salutatorian for the class of 2020 is Ankit Kumar. While at Bradley, Ankit participated in varsity tennis, math club, science olympiad, and is a member of National Honor Society. Ankit also competes in Taekwondo, tennis, and is a member of the Boy Scouts. Mr. Lindbergh commented, Ankit Kumar is a perfect scientist. He is a brilliant problem solver, a detailed researcher, a curious mind, and a resilient worker. He possesses both the intellectual capabilities for a future Nobel Prize winner, but also has a kind heart. He's fantastic in a group setting and always has other success in mind. We are excited to see the great things Ankit will do in the future. Ankit will attend the Ohio State University and major in computer science and engineering. He is the son of Rajiv Kumar and Poonam Kumari. Welcome, Ankit Kumar. It is my honor to present the valedictorian of the class of 2020, Valen Rajmohan. Valen contributes to Bradley and his community in a number of ways. He participates in Science Olympiad and Varsity Tennis and is a member of our National Honor Society and a Jaguar Ambassador. Valen also volunteers at COSI and Doctors Hospital. Mrs. Rich commented that Valen's a true leader to his peers. He works hard to tackle any challenge that is placed in front of him and his work ethic often rubs off on those around him. He was such a joy to teach and I will take even greater joy in hearing about his future accomplishments. Valen will be attending The Ohio State University and majoring in biology. He is the son of Rajmohan Viswanathan and Savitha Ganesan. I would also like to recognize and congratulate the remaining members of our top 10 class of 2020. Minar Arjub, Marisabel Aguilar, Carter Mulke, Anderson Murray, Panami Patel, Leah Donaldson, May Dieter, and Zach Myers. Luke Staten is a talented student in art portfolio. Through his years at Bradley, he has followed the progression of drawing classes, although he has branched out to sculpture and painting. His talent shines in each of his pieces, and he has already developed a very unique and recognizable style. He has earned awards in shows such as Grove City Arts in the Alley and the Scholastic National Art Competition. As a department, we have appreciated the opportunity to share in his creative talents. I am so excited to present the 2020 Senior Business Leader Award to Joe Hager. Joe exemplifies the qualities of a leader in the business world. He exhibits grit, perseverance, and determination, as well as compassion and integrity. Joe availed himself to all of the courses in the business department, achieving success in all of them. In addition, as a member of the Future Business Leaders of America, 
Joe competed and placed in the competitive events at the State Leadership Conference. Mr. Riggs, Mr. Bell, and myself would like to congratulate and express our appreciation for having the opportunity to meet Joe Hager. Congratulations, Joe. I'm Justin Riley, and it is my pleasure to present the Computer Science Excellence Award to Christian Cromer. As a computer science teacher, I've known Christian for two years. In that time, he's distinguished himself as an excellent programmer and a creative student with high attention to detail. Christian has demonstrated his initiative and perseverance in game design and web design. When faced with a difficult task, he's driven and he's able to adjust and adapt in order to work through problems. Christian is at his best when he's given an open-ended problem and he's able to showcase his wide range of graphic design and coding skills. On several occasions, I've had to remind him, it's going to be a lot of work if you design that from scratch. And his reply is always, I know, but it'll look better this way. In the end, he's right. Christian consistently turns in high quality projects that go beyond the requirements. I'm confident that Christian Cromer will continue to make Bradley, the Bradley community proud as he works towards a degree in computer science. His past accomplishments in graphic design and programming confirm that he has earned this award. He's a determined, forward-thinking, and meticulous student, and I'm certain that Christian will achieve great things in the future. Hello, I am Ms. Hunsinger, and I am presenting Aisha Abdullahi with the award for Outstanding EL Senior. Aisha came to Bradley in the spring of 2017 as a freshman. She was shockingly quiet her first few months. However, her growth has been remarkable. She works incredibly hard at improving her English skills and is a very conscientious student. She truly is the best of the best. I am so sad that I did not get to finish Aisha's senior year with her, but I know she will do amazing things. Congratulations, best of luck. Nathan's passion for engineering is evident in the classroom. Whether it is Nathan prodding for a deeper understanding of complex concepts or discussing design modifications he plans to make on his Jeep, Nathan enriches the pre-engineering classroom. He once taught a lesson on how differential gears work together and showed students how to remove axles. Nathan will no doubt use this passion, intellect, and his character to leave a positive mark on our world and on our community through engineering. Hi, my name is Julie Rickert, and I had the pleasure of having David Metzler in my English 12 class. David is one of those students who tries his best 100% of the time. Every day, he has a positive attitude and makes those around him better as well. People feed off of his positivity. David is not just an outstanding student, but he is a great mentor as well. He doesn't judge anyone and is willing to help anyone who needs it. David makes people feel at ease when he works with them. We need more students like David. David, best of luck in the future. I miss you so much, and I know you'll do great things at Youngstown State. Take care. Good luck. Bye. Hi, everyone. My name is Dana Brown. I'm the Family and Consumer Sciences teacher at Hilliard Bradley High School. And for my senior FCS award, I chose Alexis Griffith. I love Alexis so much. I think that she is such a kind person and she's a really hard worker. She's one of the only students to completed all of my offered courses, which include careers and money management, global gourmet, culinary cuisine, and child and family studies. Alexis is a positive role model to those around her, and I think that she is going to go on beyond Bradley and do wonderful things. So congratulations, Alexis. Hello, I'm Mrs. Satawi, the Chinese teacher at Bradley High School, and I'm here to present the department award to our senior, Olivia Williamson. Olivia is a diligent student who has a true appreciation of foreign languages and Chinese language in particular. Her discipline and integrity are the foundation of her strong abilities. She embarked on learning Chinese after studying German and has been a role model in our classroom for the past two years. I'm so excited to see what Olivia has to bring to the world as she moves on to the new stage of life. Isaac, here at Hilliard Bradley High School, we're very excited about what you have brought to the classroom and to our student body and faculty and the entire school uh, and what you're able to accomplish mathematically. You have exhausted all possible math classes here at Hilliard Bradley, and you'll take this, and I'm sure we'll do some wonderful things in the future. We're extremely proud to have you as one of our alumni, 
and I know you will make us proud in the future. Congratulations, have a great year next year, and a great life. Hi, Hannah. Uh, just wanted to say thank you for your dedication to our program the last four years. Um, I think you've grown a lot as a musician and as a person, and especially in this last year, I think you really grew as a leader. Um, I'm really looking forward to you continuing your musical journey at Capitol and um, look forward to you entering this field in a couple years as a colleague, not as a student. Um, so good luck, work hard, practice a lot, and uh, there's somebody else that wanted to say something real quick also. Hi Hannah, it's Dr. Gershman. Just wanted to take a second to congratulate you on your award, very well deserved, I have no doubt, and to let you know how excited we are that you'll be joining us at Capitol in the fall. So until then, stay safe, and we can't wait for you to arrive on campus in a couple months. See you then. Rachel Emery is a once in a lifetime student. Rachel is one of the most talented students, if not the most talented student I've ever had the privilege of teaching in 20 years. Rachel is a brilliant musician, student, and has truly been given a gift with her amazing voice. Rachel is an excellent leader, has a great moral compass, and she truly embodies the three pillars of the Hilliard Bradley Coral Program, family, integrity, and passion. Rachel was a member of Chorale her freshman year and is a three-year member of our top choral ensemble, Symphonic Choir, a three-year member of our premier contemporary acapella ensemble, Shades of Blue, and has served in various leadership positions throughout her four years. Currently, she is serving as president of our choral department. Rachel has participated in the Ohio Capital Conference Honors Choir and the Ohio Music Education Association's All-State Honors Choir and has received multiple superior ratings in OMEA Solo and Ensemble. Congratulations to Rachel on a truly remarkable four years at Hilliard Bradley High School. Best wishes as you attend Lee University in the fall as a vocal performance major. Always remember, where words fail, music speaks. Tyler Hodgson is an exemplary music student who has been active in orchestra, choir, echo, theater, and marching band. He co-founded the first Bradley Composers Club and participated in leadership and diversity clubs at Bradley. Tyler embraces every new challenge with vigor and positive energy. He is an eager student of all things musical, composing, performing chamber music, serving as student conductor, and teaching younger students. His passion for the arts is evident through the manner in which he absorbs all possible music through attending live concerts, listening to recordings, and performing. He plans to attend Baldwin Wallace University, majoring in music education and music composition. Bravo and congratulations, Tyler. Nathan Ashbrook has been a great leader for the theater department the last two years. There's no task that he won't take on, including diving in and learning the new lighting console and teaching me about it at the same time. He sets a great example to the underclassmen involved in the technical aspects of theater, and it will serve him well as he moves on to college. He always takes a very organized approach to problem solving, which will be helpful as an engineer or in theater tech. I would like to recognize Ankit Kumar as our Senior Science Award winner. Ankit is the perfect scientist. He is a brilliant problem solver, a detailed researcher, a curious mind, and a resilient worker. He possesses both the intellectual capabilities to be a future Nobel Prize winner, but also has a kind heart. He is fantastic in a group setting. He always has other people's success in mind. I am very proud of all of the work Ankit has done this year in AP Physics and uh, feel privileged to be in uh, a part of his life. I wish him nothing but the best and again, um, he is very deserving of our Senior Science Award winner at Bradley High School. Congratulations Ankit. Hi, I am Katie Rich and I have the pleasure of presenting the Social Studies Department Award to Brennan Walker. Um, Brennan I've had him in AP government, um, but all of his social studies teachers agree that he has an incredible work ethic, um, but more than anything, he stands out because of his positive attitude. Um, he walks into class every day with a big smile on his face, ready to go, ready to challenge himself, um, and that makes him stand out very much from all of his peers. Um, I know that this positive attitude and um, 
determination will take him really far in life, and I can't wait to hear about all his successes he will have in the future. Congratulations, Brennan. Way to go. Ahmed, it was a pleasure and joy to have you in class. You had a great personality. You were wonderful as an athlete in the class, getting others involved in the games that we played, and then learning to work out this year. Uh, you were definitely a leader. Uh, people followed your lead uh, as we either played games or in the workout classes. And uh, you have a bright future ahead of you. Good luck with everything. The Intervention Department is pleased to present the Motivation to Succeed Awards to Emily Norris and Zachary Higgins. Emily is a determined young woman who works very diligently to maximize her learning in all of her educational and life situations. She is very kind and caring towards her classmates and all the adults in her life, and she is always willing to help whenever she can. With her excellent work ethic, her positive attitude, and her caring demeanor, Emily will succeed in whatever she chooses to do within her life. She has an aspiration to become a teacher, and she is willing to help all students, but especially students who struggle in school. And she, can, and she will continue her studies at, the, at Ohio University to study education. Zach is another student who cares about all the people here at Bradley. He always has a smile and a kind word to give to everyone he comes in contact with, and he would do whatever he can to help anyone. Zach gives 110% in everything that he does because of his good work ethic, his high expectations for himself, and his positive attitude. This includes all of his schoolwork, but also his school-based job and as the manager of the Hilliard Bradley boys basketball team. His earnest work ethic will serve him well as he receives training at the Dublin Methodist Hospital in the Project Search Program. All of us in the inter intervention department are so proud of Emily and Zach, and we know that they will succeed in whatever they choose to do in life. We wish them the best of luck as they move on from Bradley and move out into the big wide world. And we will be here cheering them on every step of the way. We are so proud of you, Emily and Zach. Good luck. Author John C. Maxwell writes, a leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. Leadership is also described as an explorer cutting a path through the jungle for the rest of the group to follow. Both of these descriptions of leadership describe Manar Arju, this year's recipient of the Principal's Leadership Award. Manar is that one student who exhibits leadership in all she does. Minar is wise beyond her years. I was really just starting to get to know Minar this winter during her initiative with the Reflection Room, and I was amazed as to how she viewed the world and her place in it. I just wish I would have been able to enjoy celebrating all of her accomplishments with her in person. There is no doubt that her leadership skills will carry her throughout her future endeavors. Congratulations to Manar Arjub for winning the 2020 Principals Leadership Award. Sintero's annual Catalyst for Positive Change Awards was held virtually on Friday, April 3rd, 2020. This signature event recognizes outstanding high school students who exemplify Sintero's core values of integrity, empowerment, and innovation through service to their communities. I would like to congratulate Dana Copeland for being our Sintero Catalyst for Positive Change winner this year. The Marine Corps Distinguished Athlete Award is presented to students for athletic achievement. For more than 200 years, Marines have been recognized as a force in readiness. Being ready means you have to be on top physical condition. Consequently, fitness is the hallmark of the Marines. Additionally, the recipient of this award not only represents a student that is a superior athlete, but also one who has been recognized as an exemplar young citizen and role model for younger students. They also must have exhibited the personal traits of courage, poise, self-confidence, and leadership 
while performing as a varsity athlete. Some of the same traits Marines look for in every Marine. This year's recipients are Emily Marshausen and Brandon Edwards. Congratulations. The Marine Corps Semper Fidelis Award is presented to students for musical excellence. The Marine Band has a long standing history of musical excellence. It has been playing at White House engagements since 1801 and is referred to as the President's Own. John Philip Sousa, while director of the band in 1881, wrote the march Semper Fidelis. The march was dedicated to those who inspired it the men and women of the United States Marines. It is with this prestigious musical history that the Marines present this award. The student must have held a first chair in the band, proven capable of performing as a soloist, and recognized as both an outstanding musician and young citizen. This year's recipients are Nathan Bebiger and Dana Copeland. Congratulations. The Ackerson Eye Care Center Scholarship was established to award $1,000 each year to a student at each of the three high schools who demonstrate leadership qualities, academic excellence, and are pursuing a career in the medical field. This year's recipient of the scholarship from Bradley is Ashley Mascalino. Ashley was chosen based on her excellent leadership skills and her drive to succeed. We were so impressed with her work ethic, where she was able to manage and balance her many volunteer commitments and extracurricular activities, all while excelling in her academics. We are confident that with her dedication, she will achieve her dream of working in the medical field. Congratulations to this year's Ackerson Eye Care Center Scholarship recipient, Ashley Mascalino. We are fortunate to have a long-standing partnership with Aramark, who provides the food service for Hilliard City Schools. Beginning three years ago, Aramark was elected to sponsor a scholarship for one student at each Hilliard High School. This year's recipient from Hilliard Bradley High School is Emily Friend. Congratulations, Emily Friend. This year, we were thrilled to meet with several amazing candidates for the 2020 Brown Elementary PTO Brown to Bradley Scholarship. It was a difficult decision but based on their commitment to give back to the students at Brown and their enthusiasm and dedication to their chosen career paths, we were pleased to present this year's Brown to Bradley scholarships to Carter Mokehi and Aaron Ray. Congratulations. We can't wait to see how you continue to change the world and encourage those around you. The Credit Union of Ohio Steve Stoffel Memorial Scholarship is a tribute to our friend, leader, and credit union champion. He was a man of great character and integrity, and his leadership was a key contributor to the success of Credit Union of Ohio today. Since 2009, we have awarded over $50,000 in undergraduate scholarships to local students. Part of our Credit Union's philosophy is people helping people. And so this year, we asked students from all three high schools to tell us about a time they used their time and talents in the community and what they learned from their experience. On behalf of the Credit Union of Ohio, I would like to congratulate Nora Durthick as the recipient of the 2020 Credit Union of Ohio Steve Stoffel Memorial Scholarship of $1,000. The Ruth Fullen Music Scholarship honors Hilliard Elementary music teacher Ruth Fullen and is awarded to an outstanding Hilliard High School senior musician who excels academically and demonstrates a commitment to pursuing music education as a career. This student must attend a college or university music school after graduation with the intention of earning a Bachelor of Music Education degree from the accredited institution. 
Ruth Fullen once said, being an excellent music educator is a lifelong pursuit. The recipient must possess a limitless love for music, be a hard worker, and have a passion for teaching. The Fullen family is honored to award the first annual Ruth Fullen Music Scholarship to Hilliard Bradley Sr., Allie Gerkins. The George L. Harper Memorial Scholarship Fund was established by Mary Harper in memory of her husband, George L. Harper Sr., who did not have the opportunity to attend high school, and her stepson, George L. Harper Jr., a member of the Hilliard High School Marching Band, who was killed in a school bus accident at the age of 13. This scholarship rotates between all three high schools in Hilliard until the scholarship is large enough to award all three schools in a single year. This year, the George L. Harper Memorial Scholarship recipient is Hilliard Bradley Sr., Lindsay Tom. Congratulations, Lindsay. The Hilliard Area Realty Association is pleased to announce that their scholarship will be awarded to Marissa Bell Aguilar. Congratulations, Marissa Bell. Each year, the Hilliard Arts Council is pleased to present a $1,000 scholarship at each high school for a student who plans to major in visual art or a related field in college. This year, there were four really strong candidates from Bradley High School, so the decision was made to award scholarships to two students. The first recipient plans to attend Columbus College of Art and Design, where she plans to fulfill her lifelong dream of becoming a storyboard artist. She hopes to inspire other young artists to pursue art as she has. According to her teacher, Ms. Owens, this student is one of the most talented student artists she has ever worked with in her career as a teacher. Her talent comes naturally, yet she is incredibly easy to collaborate with and accepts criticism openly. Congratulations to Sophie Berkemer and best of luck in the future. The second recipient plans to study film at either Ohio University or Capital University. She enjoys producing, directing, editing, and lighting. She is very grateful to Academy Vibe for inspiring her and helping her discover her passion. She hopes one day to come back to Academy Vibe and share success with other students. Mr. Torrance says, In my 25 years as an educator, I have seen very few students who are able to bring people together successfully accomplish a project the way she can. She has a natural ability to tap into the talents of others in my class and get them to assist her in creating great things. She is continually pushing herself to extend her boundaries. Congratulations to Dana Copeland, and best of luck in the future. The Roger Green Memorial Scholarship is a $1,000 annual non-renewable scholarship given to one senior per high school. In order to be eligible for the scholarship, the graduating senior had to apply to the HBA Scholarship Committee for review and have maintained a 3.0 GPA played in or participated in the HBA for two or more years, write an essay detailing their community work and academic, professional, charitable achievements, and receive recommendation letters from at least two community members, including coaches and teachers. The applicants this year at the, each high school were very impressive, and the scholarship committee had tough decisions to select a winner. It was a talented bunch of applicants with a wide variety of future ambitions. This scholarship is a wonderful opportunity for the HBA to support these impressive high school seniors and their varied and excellent chosen career paths. It must be a very proud and exciting day for the recipients as they embark on their life's next great journey. So on behalf of the HBA, Cameron Medley, enjoy your studies, enjoy your time as a college student, and make us all proud. The Hilliard Bradley Athletic Boosters is a nonprofit organization with the mission to promote and support the athletic teams of Hilliard Bradley High School from grades 7 through 12. While we provide various financial support for the needs of the athletic department, individual teams, and athletes of both Hilliard Bradley High School and Memorial Middle School, the Hilliard Bradley Athletic Boosters takes pride in promoting school spirit and sportsmanship. In addition to promoting school spirit and sportsmanship, we encourage the academic endeavors of Bradley's student-athletes. In supporting this goal, we have the honor of recognizing our senior student-athletes by awarding scholarships each year. This year, the Hilliard Bradley Athletic Boosters are presenting 15 $500 scholarships, and the winners are Aiden Healy, Tyler Mordarski, 
Marissa Bell Aguilar, Lindsay Tom, Carolyn Rogers, Ian Eberts, Sean Rogers, Elijah Schneider, Zach Myers, Emily Keck, Macy Laparo, Rachel Rice, Juliana Lundy, Shay Stevens, and Dylan Eiseldyke. Congratulations. The Hilliard Bradley PTO is an organization of parents who support the students and staff at Bradley in a variety of ways. You may know us from the always popular Free Cookie Day. The PTO also organizes staff meals for teacher conference evenings, provide refreshments for student recognition ceremonies, and provide funds for classroom needs not covered by the district. Over the past three years, we have awarded a scholarship to a senior who plans to pursue post-secondary education. This year, the PTO is awarding two scholarships of $250 each. We had over 20 very impressive applicants this year, each providing two letters of recommendation and a letter of admission to college or university. Additionally, each applicant wrote an essay addressing a high school experience that had a positive impact on them. We are pleased to announce that the 2020 PTO scholarship recipients are Marissa Bell Aguilar and Caitlin Yon. Each of these impressive young women have made contributions to Bradley and their community while excelling academically at Bradley. In addition to taking academically challenging courses, including many AP classes, Marissa Bell has shown leadership in her four years as a JAG ambassador, serving as an AP calculus teacher aide, and serving as senior class vice president. Marissa Bell's volunteer work includes four years with the CMH Summer Reading Club and 890 hours over four years at COSI. Marissa Bell plans to study electrical engineering and has been accepted at OSU main campus. Caitlin has been involved in a variety of extracurricular activities, including track and field, key club, and paw pals. Caitlin indicated in her essay that it was her involvement in those two service programs that had a positive impact on her. Caitlin has been involved in the production of the yearbook for the past two years, serving as senior section editor this year. Caitlin has succeeded academically and in extracurricular activities while also working a part-time job. She will be studying interior design at the University of Cincinnati. We are proud to offer these two students the PTO scholarship, and we wish them all the best in their future educational and career pursuits. Congratulations to Alexandra Ray Gerkins and Abby Rich on being the recipients of the Hilliard Education Association Scholarship. Being an educator is an adventure that changes daily, kind of like the end of your senior year at Bradley. You never know from day to day what challenge or adventure awaits. Working in education can be stressful, but it is incredibly rewarding. Thank you for wanting to be an educator. Be sure to thank those who encouraged you along the way. Good luck as you start this new adventure. The Hilliard Education Foundation was established in 1989 as a nonprofit organization separate from the schools and was formed to enhance academic excellence within the Hilliard City School District. Our organization impacts students' lives by inspiring and supporting innovative learning experiences that advance student achievement in academics, arts, and citizenship. Working with the school district, the Hilliard Education Foundation has supplemented limited district funds by awarding over $1 million in grants to allow teachers to initiate new and creative learning experiences that might not otherwise be funded. One of the Hilliard Education Foundation's other roles is to administer college scholarships for graduates of each of the Hilliard High Schools. To that end, in addition to administering scholarships for other donors, the Hilliard Education Foundation has established its own scholarship awarding $1,000 each year to a student at each of the three high schools who demonstrate leadership qualities and a history of and dedication to community service activities. Joe Hager impressed the Hilliard Education Foundation with his extensive list of community service activities, including volunteering with the Hilliard Bobcats Special Olympics Organization and his participation in Key Club and Paw Pals. Joe plans to continue to volunteer with the Hilliard Bobcats Special Olympics men's basketball team while attending the University of Cincinnati to pursue a major in business. In addition, he plans on participating in College Mentors for Kids, which will continue to build on what he's started in Paw Pals and will also join Alpha Phi Omega, an international service fraternity that focuses on leadership, friendship, and service. 
Thank you for your community service and congratulations to this year's Hilliard Education Foundation Scholarship recipient, Joe Hager. The Hilliard Girls Softball Association has proudly been a part of the Hilliard community for 46 years. With the help from sponsors from local businesses and fundraisers throughout the year, the association is able to provide three $1,000 scholarships to seniors at the Hilliard High Schools. The HGSA is proud to present the 2020 HGSA Harold Lawson Scholarship to Marissa Bell Aguilar. Congratulations, Marissa Bell. The Hilliard Girls Travel Basketball Program strives to support girls basketball in the Hilliard Bradley High School attendance area. The program makes every effort to create a nurturing environment where girls can develop basketball skills as well as learn life lessons. The program not only supports future Jaguars, but also the high school program, which helps mold student athletes into strong young women. The program provides charitable donations as well as honoring a graduating senior with a scholarship opportunity. This young lady continued playing basketball throughout her high school career, as well as working hard in the classroom. This year, it is with great pride that we celebrate Emily Marshhausen, Hilliard Girls Travel Basketball alum, on all of her success, both on the court and in the classroom. Congratulations, Emily, on receiving the Hilliard Girls Travel Basketball Scholarship. The Hilliard Scholarship Committee is thrilled to announce Grace Bundy as a recipient of our Kiwanis Community Service Scholarship. Grace is selfless in her commitment to serving our community. Grace makes our Hilliard community a better place. Grace, thank you for all you do, and congratulations. The Hilliard Music Booster Scholarship was established by the Hilliard Music Boosters, Inc. to encourage the pursuit of higher music education by Hilliard City School District graduates. It has been named after different supporters over the years, most recently to honor Ann Stout, who bequeathed a portion of her estate to the fund. The scholarship is given in honor of our many members, as well as Hilliard City School District residents, past and present, who provide invaluable contributions of their time and support of musical education in our schools. The scholarship is a one-time, non-renewable award of $500, presented to one graduating senior from each high school in Hilliard City School District. This year's recipient from Hilliard Bradley is someone who has shown their dedication and passion for music for many years. They have a well-rounded background that include music, sports, school clubs, and volunteer activities while maintaining an exceptional GPA. This person believes music is powerful and that it can positively impact the lives of those exposed to it. It is with great pleasure to award the Hilliard Music Boosters Scholarship to 2020 graduating senior Allie Gerkins. Allie will continue her education at The Ohio State University, majoring in music education. Congratulations, Allie and thank you for sharing your love of music. Optimists conduct more than 65,000 community projects each year, spending more than $78 million in their communities. Every year, more than 6 million children are positively impacted by the 87,000 Optimus members in 2,900 clubs worldwide. It gives Hilliard Optimus Youth Sports Club great pleasure to be able to present scholarships for our Hilliard students. The Optimist mission statement is, by providing hope and positive vision, optimists bring out the best in kids. The Hilliard Optimist Club does many positive community projects throughout the year. More than just football or basketball, the Hilliard Optimists also hold oratorical essay and communication contests for deaf and hard of hearing students of the district, sponsor programs like Respect the Law, honoring a police person and fire person from the community, Optimus International Junior Golf Championships, and Youth Appreciation Programs. Since Davison High School opened in 1989, the Hilliard Optimus Club has contributed more than $775,000 to graduating Hilliard seniors. We contribute $10,000 a year, $5,000 for boys, and $5,000 for girls at the three high schools for a total of $30,000 a year. Congratulations to... Victoria Kilpatrick, Juliana Lundy, Kyle DeMoss, and Dylan Eiseldijk for this year's Hilliard Optimist Scholarship Award winners. The Hilliard Area Chamber of Commerce is extremely proud to continue its tradition of providing the largest 
local scholarship to graduates of the Hilliard City Schools. The Hilliard Chamber, as the business voice in our community, knows how important it is to have a strong workforce for our businesses. We will be awarding additional scholarships like these to students at Hilliard Davison and Hilliard Darby High Schools. With another $1,000 scholarship, which will be awarded to a Hilliard student who attended the Tolls Career and Technical Center, we will be awarding $31,000 this year to Hilliard students. Since 1985, the Hilliard Area Chamber of Commerce, through its Hollyfest Scholarship Foundation, has provided to Hilliard students over $581,000 in total scholarships. It is our pleasure to present to Marissa Bell Aguilar, who has yet to hear from her dream school, our $8,000 scholarship, and to Emily Keck, who will be attending University of North Carolina Charlotte, our $2,000 scholarship. Congratulations. On behalf of Julie Caserta, we are honored to present a scholarship through the Hilliard Education Foundation in memory of Cody Jewell. On September 14, 2010, Julie was a witness to a very tragic accident that unfortunately resulted in taking the life of a young Hilliard City School student named Cody Jewell. As Julie began to process what had happened that morning, she found herself reaching out to his family, friends, and teachers and learned quickly that Cody was a remarkable young man, son, grandson, brother, and friend. One of the things Julie found the most impressive about Cody was his desire for education, even though he didn't have many educational role models in his life outside the classroom. At the age of 10, just weeks prior to the accident, Cody had expressed to his mom that he wanted her to go to college because he knew she would get more out of her life with an education. What Julie found to be the most remarkable aspect about this story was that Cody understood such a large concept at such an early age. Education was important and could provide endless opportunities. Cody will unfortunately not be able to continue his own educational journey, but through the scholarship, Julie's hope is that many students will be able to. Dylan Eiseldyke stood out to the committee because he has remained consistent with his academics, his involvement in school activities, and his volunteer hours within the community. He came highly recommended and is described as talented, caring, intuitive, dedicated, and focused in his pursuits. This young man will certainly not only make his own dreams come true next year, but models and represents everything Julie believes to be true about the scholarship. Hard work, determination, and perseverance. This year's $1,000 Cody Jewell Memorial Scholarship recipient is Dylan Eiseldyke. Congratulations, Dylan. The Kim Lease Memorial Golf Tournament is in memory of Kim Lease, who lost his battle of pancreatic cancer in June of 2011. Kim grew up in Hilliard and graduated in 1976 from Hilliard High School. Kim was an avid sports fan, including high school sports. He played golf and baseball for Hilliard High School, where he was named MVP of the golf team his junior and senior years. Kim continued his golfing abilities at Capital University, where he became an All-American. Due to his love of the mountains, Kim ended up transferring to Western State College in Gunnison, Colorado for his final two years of school, earning a business degree in 1981. Kim married his wife, Judy, who was from Colorado, and they eventually ended up back in his hometown of Hilliard. Kim had a successful career in pharmaceutical sales until his passing. Kim and Judy had two children, Matt, a 2008 graduate, and Katie, a 2014 graduate, both from Hilliard Davison High School. Kim was very active in his kids' athletic programs. Thanks to her dad's enthusiasm and coaching, Katie followed in his footsteps, playing golf all through high school and then at Capital University. Kim always had a passion for high school sports. He could be found on the chain gang for a Hilliard Davison football game, or in the front row cheering on the basketball and wrestling teams. He always had words of encouragement for the young athletes. This passion led Kim in helping establish the first girls golf team at Hilliard Davison. Per Kim's request, a scholarship for a high school golfer would be awarded annually in memory of his name. Therefore, the Kim Lease Memorial Golf Scholarship was first awarded in May of 2012. The tournament has awarded over $10,000 in scholarship money and also made generous donations to pancreatic cancer research. It has only been open to Hilliard Davison golfers until this year. This year, the family wanted to open the scholarship up to any Hilliard City golfer. The annual recipient of the scholarship also receives a free entry into the annual golf tournament. 
This year's tournament is scheduled for July 13th, 2020 at Heritage Country Club. Katie, Matt, and Judy Lease wish to congratulate Tyler Mardarski of Hilliard Bradley as the 2020 recipient. His essay about his grandpa being a, his influence hit very close to our hearts. Katie's grandparents were some of her biggest fans, especially after her dad died. Tyler, we are so sad we cannot give this to you personally, but look forward to meeting you sometime in the near future. We wish you success in this next exciting chapter of your life at the University of Dayton. Sophia was born in Columbus, Ohio on June 6, 2000 to her loving parents, Guy and Melissa Margiata. She unexpectedly passed away on March 12, 2013 from undiagnosed acute lymphoblastic leukemia after a diagnosis of the flu three days prior. Sophia was a wonderfully creative girl with a wide variety of activities and interests. She was an excellent student at Darby Creek Elementary and Hilliard Memorial Middle School, where following the rules and listening to teachers' directions were always her priorities. Although she might have been described as quiet or shy, her speech teacher said she was a natural at public speaking. School was important to her, and she was proud of her perfect attendance records and good grades, and especially liked math and art. She wanted to go to the University of Connecticut or Ohio University after she graduated from high school and ultimately pursue her passion for helping animals. Being a good friend was very important to Sophia, and she loved spending time with her family. The world is a better place for having Sophia Rose in it, and she will live in our hearts forever. The Margiotta family wishes to congratulate Kristen Norris and Nora Durthick as this year's recipients. Hilliard Memorial Middle School is a family comprised of caring individuals who make every effort to create and maintain a feeling of becoming and belonging within our student community. The Kevin Bulber Memorial Scholarship was created in recognition of this continuing bond and spirit. In an honor and memory of Mr. Kevin Bulber, who was an outstanding language arts teacher, coach, Memorial's first athletic coordinator, and a friend and mentor to students. Mr. Volber passed away in March of 2002. He was, and always will be, an important part of our school community. The scholarship is awarded by Memorial's faculty to a Bradley senior who attended Memorial for both middle school years. This year's scholarship is awarded to Marissa Bell Aguilar. Congratulations, Marissa Bell. We are proud of your accomplishments. On behalf of local 1723 Norwich Township Firefighters, we are extremely proud of all the applicants for our scholarship, your accomplishments and aspirations. Every year it is challenging to select two candidates because everyone has demonstrated the discipline and commitment to achieving your dreams. We are especially proud of Marissa Bell Aguilar and Dylan Scott Eiseldyke as our recipients for the retired fire chief Keith McDowell Memorial Scholarship. Marissa Bell, for your ability to persevere through personal challenges and turning those experiences into opportunities to mentor others that could use a little assistance. Your willingness to be involved in your community and ability to choose education as your weapon to change the world will continually impact those around you. Dylan, for your dedication of being self-sufficient as an entrepreneur and taking ownership of financial obligations to achieve your goals. We recognize the sacrifices that came with your decisions, your ability to balance a tremendous workload, find time for yourself, and to volunteer is impressive. Continue to challenge yourself, but also remember to have fun. Make the most of every situation and never squander an opportunity. Congratulations. The Ohio Association of Public School Employees, or OPSI Local 310, has been helping students in our district for a while now. We, as a group, are proud and honored to help young students to continue on their education and follow their dreams. Students of our OPSI Local 310 members are eligible to apply for this scholarship if they have a GPA of 2.0 or above. This year, we are honored to give the scholarship to two students. Allie Speaks and Dylan Eiseldyke 
are each receiving $750 to help them follow their dreams and go to college. Congratulations. On behalf of the Ray family and the scholarship committee members, this year's Stevie Ray Memorial Scholarship Award winner is Dylan Eiseldyke. This scholarship goes to an individual who exhibits commitment, leadership, sportsmanship, and respect towards all during their career at Hilliard Bradley High School. Stevie Ray was a young man who consistently demonstrated these qualities. He had a love of sports and competition at its highest levels, while always bringing his best effort to improve. Stevie was always the first to help and encourage a teammate or classmate with a bright smile or a positive word. Dylan embodies all of the qualities this award represents. Dylan has a 4.2 GPA, was a Buckeye Boys State delegate, a three-year letter winner in both football and baseball, as well as a two-year letter winner in bowling. Dylan will continue his education at Ohio Wesleyan University, majoring in business. He also plans to play football and baseball while attending OWU. Congratulations, Dylan, and good luck. Rotary is a worldwide service organization with 38,000 clubs worldwide. Their guiding principles are service above self and peace through understanding. Rotary maintains one of the largest and most highly rated charitable foundations in the world, as well as one of the largest exchange student programs with dozens of other major initiatives. In addition to this, the Hilliard Club has a history of close involvement with the Hilliard City Schools. These scholarships are a small recognition of some of our fabulous and always impressive students. We also like to think of it as a pat on the back, since sometimes that is as valuable as money awards. We send congratulations to Marissa Bo Aguilar and Dylan Eiseldyke for receiving the Rotary Club Scholarship. The Conklin Family Rotary Club of Hilliard Scholarships are intended to recognize those Hilliard Bradley seniors for their leadership abilities. The award, the first named scholarship at Hilliard Bradley, is made in memory of Kelly, Mary, and Dean Conklin, whose family members have been longtime supporters of the Hilliard City Schools. This year, we are honoring three students, each with a $1,000 scholarship. These students are Marissa Bell Aguilar, Nora Durthick, and Dana Copeland. Congratulations. The Tutoring Club is proud to announce the winner of our second Hilliard City School Scholarship. Tutoring Club has been helping students in Hilliard achieve their academic dreams since 2011, and we are very excited to be part of this community. The winner of the Tutoring Club Scholarship for this year is Lavana Haight. Lavana is a member of National Honor Society and Jags of Clay. She plans to attend Mount Vernon Nazarene University and is majoring in nursing. Congratulations, Lavana. I would like to recognize our National Merit Commended Scholar, Isaac Shui. He is being recognized for his outstanding academic performance on the PSAT test that was taken back in September of 2019. Approximately 34,000 students in the nation are recognized for their outstanding academic promise. Congratulations, Isaac Shuey. In closing, I want to again thank our Hilliard families and our local businesses that have provided these gifts to our seniors. In all the years that we've been doing this, certainly this year is especially appreciated. I also want to again congratulate all of our seniors and their families who received awards tonight. You have truly made us proud and I cannot wait to see what the future holds for each one of you. Thank you.